Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a beauty favourites of 2022. This was so hard <laughs> to decide what to show you. I have quite a lot of favourites and I'm going to keep duplicating myself, but this is what I've been using all year. These are the things that I love. So if that's what you're interested in, you want any hints or tips, if you're looking for any new makeup for next year, just keep on watching and I will explain everything. So if you are new here, my name is Kath. I post videos every Sunday at 7 a.m. London time. It can be anything from my Slimming World journey to my beauty favorites, to my used beauties, to my gray hair journey, blah, 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 everything. So please subscribe for new videos every week. Right, let's get into it. So I don't want this video to be about a billion hours long. So I've really condensed my list this time. This is why it's been so hard. I don't want to keep repeating myself, but at the end of the day, these are my favorite things. The things you know I use every single time. I haven't included because I talk about them a lot in Trash Talk. Trash Talk is my beauty empties. And the things that I consistently use, you will see on there, and I give mini reviews all the time, so I'm not going to go through those things. So these things are maybe new things I've discovered this year, things that I keep picking up, I can't put back. And if you know my routine, every Sunday, what I do is, after I've applied my makeup, I then wash my makeup brushes for the following week. And then when I do that, I get all of my makeup out and I swap things out. I swap palettes out. I swap blushes out, uh, lip colours, all that kind of stuff, just so I can consistently use all of my stash. But sometimes there are certain things I keep going, I'll put that back. No, I won't. I'll, I'll, but, and it's just that. So this is what it is. So guys, let's get into the video. Let's start with some body care. So last Christmas, cue the music, uh, last Christmas I bought about six of the Today's Special Value that was on offer from Elemis at QVC. And the reason I did this was it had my favourite moisturiser in it, which is the Marine Cream, as you know. It had lots of bits in that I really knew I would use all year round. It had like a facial oil and a face wash. And it was a really good top to toe kit. But one of the things, one of the choices you had to make was what shower fragrance you wanted. Now, this isn't this specific fragrance, but I'm just talking about the whole range in general. I now can confidently say that I cannot live without the Elemis shower milk. This has become my favorite beauty product for my body over the last 12 months. I have consistently used these shower milks for a year. So the uh, Christmas TSV goes live in November. So I picked up like six of these last November. I have used a couple of molten browns in and out, but nine times out of 10 in the shower, I have used this shower milk. This fragrance is the warm tonka and vanilla. It's really lovely. It's not my favorite fragrance. My favorite fragrance is the skin nourishing. And that is like baby powder for grown-ups. And in the summer, I love the Neroli, but it's just the consistency of the product, the way it makes your skin feel. It's really a moisturizing shower milk, but it lathers up beautifully. It's great for shaving and it just leaves my skin really soft to the point where I don't need to moisturize. I usually do every day, but I have to be honest, it is so cold here in the UK right now. Today, it, the top temperature is two degrees. That is the warmest it's going to get the whole day. It is still, it's now two o'clock in the afternoon that I'm filming this and it is still like frosty everywhere. So this has been great because I get the moisture that I need because I just can't face putting cold moisturiser on my skin. So in the shower, this has been an absolute lifesaver. It's £29 full price, but they're usually in a lot of QVC kits. So if you ever get the chance to try one, please do. I have quite a stash already for 2023, so I'm all set. And I'm sure there'll be other deals from Elemis on QVC soon. This one I am gonna repeat myself because I have to just drive home how amazing this is. 
This is my cleanser for my face. And this is the Elemis Beauty Balm, uh, Cleansing Balm. Now, this is a huge one, but this is the next one that I'm gonna be opening. I will show you because I'm not gonna be opening it. It's not gonna be too long. My God, it's so good. So this is a solid oil that you basically take out a little scoop, warm it in your hands and rub it over dry skin. It breaks down all your makeup, it removes your makeup, it gives you a lovely moisturised skin and it's pro-collagen, so it's anti-aging. It's just a spa in a jar, Elemis call it, and it genuinely is. This is the Serenity fragrance. Um, again, they have different fragrances throughout the year. I have no preference on the fragrance. I Probably my favourite is the original one because that's the one that is the original. But this is really nice. It's a really delicate fragrance. I absolutely love it. But I just it's just the oil. I just can't live without it. I have used this consistently as a cleanser on my skin for four years. As soon as I turned 40, I started using Elemis. I'm 44 in January and... It was one of the best life decisions I have ever made. Elemis has transformed my skin without a doubt, the best brand I have ever, ever discovered. I could bang on about Elemis for ages, but the standalone products for me is this cleansing balm. And what is coming up next, I can't rave enough about it. So let me tell you. This product launched this year with Elemis and I was lucky enough to get a sample of it from Elemis before it launched to test it and to give my feedback. This was part of a today's special value and honestly, I bought a few. This is the Dynamic Resurfacing Super C Serum, Brightening Antioxidant Serum from Elemis. This is Elemis's version of vitamin C. I can't use vitamin C on my skin, it really irritates it, but this is really good for brightening. When I tell you what I'm about to tell you, you will think I'm exaggerating, I swear I am not. The sample that I was sent was about four or five mil, it was a little tube, and it was enough for a week and a half to two weeks. On my skin here, you know, you guys know that I have that redness. You've seen it in my previous videos where I apply my makeup. I talk about it every time I show you a trash talk with my concealer in it. I only use concealer here to conceal the redness on my face. This serum, within three days of me using it, that redness was gone. Gone. Not just faded it's gone. I've had that since I was 18 or 19. I'm now 43. I actually couldn't believe how amazing it was. I did it before and after I sent it to Keeley. I stand by this. I will never not use this. It is very expensive. I think it's like £95. But Elemis for once have done a serum that's 30 mil. Usually it's 15 mil. I've had this on the go for two months. I don't use it every day. I use it like three times a week and then I use a hyaluronic acid serum in between. No other reason that I just don't want it to run out so quickly. But I just don't feel like you also need to use it every day because it's quite powerful. It didn't irritate my skin. It didn't peel my skin, nothing. My skin is super sensitive. This is the best serum I have ever used, hands down, favourite, holy grail, will never not use it. Let's talk some hair. So I, again, didn't want to bore you with the Philip Kingsley shampoo conditioner. You know, you know how I feel about it. You know how I feel about elasticizer. They are my holy grails. And they always will be. Um, that's why I didn't include them in this because I didn't want to just talk about the same thing over and over again. I have discovered some different hair care products this year that I am so happy about and that have changed my hair and really made my hair super healthy. This year has been the first year that my hair has been completely natural since I was 14. Maybe even younger, actually, probably 12 or 13. As soon as I... I went to high school and I was colouring my hair. When I was a teenager, I dyed it bright red because I was a rock chick and wanted to be, have like bright red hair. 
Then uh, growing up, I w went blonde. I went uh, all kinds of highlights. I've stripped my hair. I've, I've ruined my hair. But later in life, years, I have dyed my roots a natural color to hide my gray hairs. As you guys know, I've done the whole transition. My hair is now 100% natural. Therefore, I don't need to use a ton of product on my hair anymore. I found that really weird, but I've found these few little products that are just glorious and make my hair so healthy that I just had to share. So here is the first one. This is the Keratin Purple Shampoo. I have used lots of purple shampoos. This one was sent to me and I had no obligation to post about it, nothing. I have purchased this, this is my third bottle. Now, I now I um, I use a purple shampoo on my hair twice a week. It used to be once a week, but I've upped my game now because my hair is completely natural and I go to the gym a lot more than I used to. I don't want to tip this, but it's the colour of it. It's like ink. It's so pigmented. But my favourite thing about Keratin as a brand is that this, it says, removes brassy tones with coconut oil, chamomile extract, pro-vitamin B5, specially formulated for blonde and grey hair. So they've actually singled out grey hair as well. All natural ingredients, no added parabens, sulfates and sodium chloride. I have a code for you, obviously, it's here. This product is so good. It leaves my hair so healthy and so shiny and leaves my greys really a lovely tone. Not like white, because my hair isn't white. You can see it's kind of a weird, I don't know what you want to call it. It's just lighter. I don't, sometimes in some lights, it's not even grey. It's just kind of lighter. But this tends to bring out the tones. Whatever my hair is meant to do, this shampoo helps it do it. It leaves my hair really shiny, really soft, really bright. I just love everything about it. So if you have bleached hair or gray hair, this purple shampoo, please give it a go and report back to me. Use my code, you will not regret it. They are based in the States, but honestly, the shipping is so quick, it's brilliant. Then after I've shampooed and conditioned my hair, I always now use a hair oil. And I have been using all year the Kerastase Elixir Ultime. This is the rose one. I have the Elixir Ultime, the original one, in my bathroom. So I have one in the bathroom, one in the bedroom. I just pulled this one because it was the closest one. But it's down to like here. And the Ultime is about the same. So throughout the year, I've probably used the whole bottle, if that makes it sense. It says, versatile sublimating oil for coloured hair seeking shine, infused with an exceptional combination of imperial tea extracts, argan, camellia and corn germ oils, together with the sacred marula oil, apply one to two pumps on wet or dry hair and leave in. So obviously my hair isn't coloured, but I figured it's not going to matter. I just want the shine. Um, basically, I just want the shine. I use one pump of this in my hair length. I only apply it to the ends. So I, when I have my hair towel dried, I get one pump in my hands, rub my hands together and I do this and I go all the way around. So it's just the mid lengths and ends and I'm sure you can agree, my hair, I don't mind saying, looks super healthy. It is super healthy. It's not coloured, it's not damaged. I do use the Dyson Air Wrap and the Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer, which are proven to not damage your hair with any heat. So my hair is very, very well looked after, but these products are insanely good. One more keratin product because I cannot leave this one out. This is my second bottle of this and it's, uh, as you can see, well loved. This is the extensive thickening treatment, increases hair diameter, strengthens hair strands and combats breakage. All natural ingredients, so let me read it to you. This residue-free treatment uses peptide technology, botanicals and scientifically tested ingredients to increase hair diameter whilst providing moisture, movement, thermal protection and keratin healing. Apply daily to the entire length of hair on dry or damp hair and style as usual. No added silicon, sulfates, sodium chloride, parabens and thalfates. I don't know how to say, say it. This treatment 
I have used it now for, I think Keratin first reached out to me probably around January, February last year. So it's been almost a year that I've been using them. This I will spray in every single time I wash my hair. You can use it daily on dry hair, but I don't need to. My hair isn't super duper thin, but anything I can do to make my hair look thicker, I'm going to do it. And I think, I mean, I, I need to do kind of a before and after from last year, but I feel like my hair is thicker and, even, and looks thicker. I haven't done anything else to it. All I've got in my hair today are these two things. That's what I've just put in. And I just blow dry it normally with a flat brush and then a round brush to get a bit of volume. But my hair is, it's just great. I love it. And this has definitely helped. I started using this as soon as they sent it to me because I was excited. They asked me what I wanted to try, so I did choose this. And I say it probably took two or three weeks for me to see a difference, but the difference has been consistent. I have noticed that my hair feels thick when I put it up in a bun, when I go to put it in a ponytail, I don't have to twist my hairband as many times as I used to. And that sounds silly. You know, you get a scrunchie and you, you might have to go through around your head twice or three times. I have noticed that my hair is thicker. It's also longer, so that may have something to do with it, but I can see a difference. So again, I will leave my code here. If you have fine hair, give it a go. You can't go wrong. It's worth a try, right? That's it for hair and skin and body. Let's get into the makeup. I'm gonna go through the products in the order that I would use them. So the first one, was a no brainer. As soon as I tried this this year, I was sold. So as you know, my beloved Becca back lip primer was uh, discontinued. Becca has gone out of business. And they, I did buy as many as I could possibly get my hands on up until they, when they, I heard they were actually breaking down as a company. And then when they ran out, I didn't know what to do. I tried a couple and some of them were good, and I kept seeing this one on Michelle Wong's channel and I had to try it. And I got a small size in boots that are 20% off of premium beauty. And it's the Vitamin Enriched Face Base by Bobbi Brown. This, as you can see, well loved. This primer, especially for this time of year, when it is dry and cold outside, and because I'm getting a bit older, I need the extra moisture. So this is an all-in-one primer and moisturizer. The smell, oh, it's citrusy. And again, my skin's sensitive. That's why I want to try the mini one because this is full size. This is like 46 pounds, right? It's expensive, but you don't need much. Once you put it, I put a bit on my hands, warm my hands together. I will insert B-roll if I can find some. And I put it on my skin and your makeup just glides and sits and it's, it just feels like an extra layer of moisture. It doesn't feel like a primer, it's so crazy. So then off the back of that, I also bought the Vitamin Enriched Eye Base. So this is the same thing, but specifically for the eyes. I have only used this for the last, I don't know, few months, but it's great. And it is really good for stopping your eye makeup from getting into the creases and like really creasing under the eyes because I'm getting to that age now where that is quite a concern for me. So anything that can help that, I'm here for it. But I love that primer. I, as you can see, it's nearly done. I have a backup. I don't have any other brands backed up. That is my only primer I am using, period. Done. Sold. Not gonna look for any more. No, not interested. Foundation was tricky this year. I have three that I love. I love the Pat McGrath one, love it. It's a very fine foundation to the point that it's watery. And I first tried it and I was like, ooh, not sure, don't know. But once I, it clicked how to use it. I was like, oh, okay, game changer. But it's still not an absolute favorite. This one is still my favorite and it's the Dior Forever Matte Foundation. I am in the shade 2W just about right now. I have a 2N for when it gets 
cold. So 2W is too warm, 2N is too neutral. So when my tan has completely faded, I think it's pretty much completely faded now from the summer, and you, I kind of get that dull tone to my skin. The neutral one is definitely more for that. When I have a bit more color in my face, like I say, I can just about get away with this one now because it's nearly finished. I don't want to have it sat in a drawer for six months because it might go off. So I'm going to use it as long as I can possibly use it. Kind of still matches. But this foundation I have used since 2018. And I remember that because that was the year I had that horrific pixie haircut. So I remember it very, very, very vividly. And I got this in as a sample in a magazine and thankfully it was my shade. And I remember keeping the sample bottle because I was so in love with it. I used up all my other foundations and I went for it. I splurged because it's 40 pounds, it's expensive, but it's worth every single penny. When I say I had a bit of a, a tussle with myself, in the summer, I bought the L'Oreal True Match Foundation because I didn't want to take my expensive glass bottle away with me on holiday. And the True Match is actually incredible, amazing. If you have it on a budget, that one is great, but it's not quite as good as this. Once I'd used the L'Oreal all summer because when I got a tan, I had to continue using it so I've got a deeper shade. But then when I went back to this as my skin started to get back to its normal color, I was like, oh, We've had a couple of months apart. I forgot how much I loved you. I will use the other ones and I will use them up, obviously, but as a favorite, this is my favorite. We've been friends a long time. They did change the formula and it wasn't bad. People kept saying it was bad. I, this is the new formula. I quite like it. It's, I didn't see a difference for me personally, so it was fine. Bronzer is the same as last year, but different shade. So I've selected the Bobbi Brown bronzer. This is in the shade Natural because I've still, like I say, got a slightly warmer colour to my skin, but soon Stone Street will come out. But it's just more the, the texture of the bronzer. This is completely flat matte. There is no sparkle in here whatsoever. Same with Stone Street, that is completely matte. And that is what I'm loving. I get my glow from my foundation, from my highlighter, from my finishing powders. I don't need it in a bronzer. And these are just amazing. When I use it with, and I was going to use this, I don't know whether to do a tools one or not. I've skipped the foundation. But anyway, I'm just thinking out loud. Sorry. Let's get back on track. Using this with the hourglass brush on the fat end, the dual end brush, is the best combination because this is like I say it's quite warm right now but with a fluffy big brush the finish is just so natural so beautiful I love it this bronzer is again one that I'm not going to be deviating from I love that color natural for me in the summer is perfect uh, there it is there's no number or anything it's just natural and Stone Street will be making its appearance very soon because I feel like my skin does need more of that neutral tone. But as a tool, this brush is a favourite. Again, I've used it for years, but this year I discovered that the bronze, the blush brush is the perfect size for my apples of my cheeks. Since I've lost weight for some bizarre reason, this has become a lot more of a favourite. I used to use a smaller brush for my bronzer, but now because... I love, I just love that blush, that bronzer, sorry. This just works really, really well. I try not to get it anywhere near my hairline because I don't want my greys to go orange, but it's a lovely brush. So that's a favourite too. And while I'm on the brushes, I might as well show you this because I completely forgot to mention it earlier. It's the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face Brush. This for foundation is the best thing. For months now, I have not used a beauty blender. And you know beauty blenders were in this every single year. This brush, I apply my foundation to my hand, I blob it on my face, I go round and buff it in and then I stipple it to sort of get that fuller coverage, like so. Best brush ever. If you ever see it on special, trust me, this is amazing. It's Sorry, it's a bit filthy, but it's very fine. It's very packed. It's very solid. It gives you a really good coverage. And uh, I would not be without it. I absolutely love it. So the full coverage face brush. That's another favourite. I just skip through everything there. Uh, what next? Maybe a little finishing powder. Wonder who that could be by. 
Are you amazed that I've got through this without talking about hourglass so far? Well, there we go. Finishing powders, hourglass. This is diffused light. This isn't my favourite, but I had it to hand. They are all glorious. My favourite is dim light. I do have it. It's away. I will show you some B-roll. I think I have it in B-roll. But it's just slightly deeper than this. Each of the ambient lighting powders gives your skin a different finish. So this one is a lighter finish that's slightly brightening. But I do apply this all over the skin after I've applied my loose powder. And it just gives my skin a bit of luminosity, a little glow, nothing crazy, but it just kind of blurs everything out. The dim light is slightly deeper in tone and it's more of a candle lit glow. It's still glowy, but it's more subtle than this one. But when you're next in a department store, go to Hourglass, talk to the experts about an ambient lighting powder. Everybody needs one, I think. Everybody should try an ambient lighting powder especially if you are over 40. I think they are just an absolute lifesaver. I've used Hourglass for at least 12 years. And this is the first thing that I bought. And when I tell you, I have there's not been a day in the last 12 years that I've not used one of these. You know how much I love Hourglass. And this product, if you don't want to try anything else from Hourglass, this is the one. Everybody needs an ambient lighting powder in their lives. So as a collection, they're my favourites, for sure. Staying with Hourglass, Brows. These two, I couldn't decide between because pretty much all year I've been using this one. This is the Micro Arch Sculpting Pencil. Now, I will insert b on this one because I have it, but the pencil is teeny tiny great for creating hair-like strokes. I am in the shade Warm Brunette. This is what I'm wearing right now. Well, actually, I'm wearing this one right now. And this was an accident, but the best accident ever. This is the Brow Sculpting Pencil, just the arch. It's not the micro version. So this is thicker. So this pencil, as you can see, is quite a bit thicker, but it's flat there. And it kind of goes into like a triangle shape. So you can get under there, create the strokes, you can fill in the brows beautifully, but it's just a little bit thicker. Honestly, both of these I love. Each has a spoolie at the other, at the other end, so you can brush the product through your brows. And what I love about these products is that, um, there's a spoolie for that one, little skinny, cute one. What I love about these, is that the pencil is really waxy. And when I say that, it doesn't put down a ton of product that you can see to the naked eye. It does put down the product, but it's not like drawn on brows. That's quite natural. And then when you get the spoolie and you pull it through, it kind of clings to the hairs and makes them really stand out but still look quite natural. And that's what I like. The thicker one I love now because my brows are thicker. I'd always been buying this one because I'd always use this one when my brows were thinner. But now I'm like, oh, actually, I'm getting more use out of this one. So I've put them both in because they're both the same. They have the same formulation, just one is thicker and one is thinner. So whatever your needs are. Warm Brunette is mine for a shade reference. When I had thinner brows, I did use soft brunette, but I just found that I was using, towards the end of my brow grow out journey, I was using more of the soft brunette. So I just went to, to warm, so. Eyeliner, this is the cheapest eyeliner I've ever bought and it's phenomenal. It's the CYO Get It Bright All-in-One Brightening Pencil. I will show you, but I'm, I'm sorry, it's quite gross. So, it, what I love about it is, I have it in my waterline right now so you can see, it makes your eyes look really bright, look really shiny and bright and awake, which we all need right now. But it's not white. Back in the day, when you bought a white eyeliner, it was pure white. Now, I don't know about you, but 
I don't know anybody's eyes that are that white. So this one is perfect. Sorry, let me show you what it looks like. So that's the brand. It's from Boots, the Boots own brand, CYO. I love it. I absolutely love it. And the best thing about it is you don't just sharpen it. You just twist it from the bottom and it comes up out of its tube. So amazing. I love it. It's like two pounds, but it just makes such a difference to my everyday makeup. And I have used it consistently pretty much every single day. So had to share. Whilst we're on eyes, this isn't a particular palette. So, okay. Oh God, eye palettes. As you know, for me, there are only real two contenders, Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath. I love Natasha Denona and I was going to choose the Glam palette, spoiler alert, because oh, I do use it a lot. It's a bit of a no-brainer one for me. It's one I have to think about. But when I thought about what eyeshadow means to me, it had to be Pat McGrath because it's special. She is special. This is the latest one. This is the Moonlit Seduction that I bought in Black Friday. So I don't want to say this is my favourite because obviously I've only had it a matter of weeks. This is what I've got open right now, just to show you the shades. So the pan is big. But the palette is huge. It will last me years. But what I love about it is the formulation. Her eyeshadows, I'm wearing this, this is what I've got on today. Her eyeshadows are buttery. The formula just puts on, blends out. There are no lines, there are no strokes. I don't have to think about it. The astral shades, the four shades at the end here, these four. You just apply with your finger and they just go on beautifully. This one is the Trio Chrome. You can apply it with a brush as well. They are just another level. They just are. And I, these are my favourites. She is my favourite. I picked up the Utopian Dream in 2021. I think it was my favourite last year. I would have picked that one again this year because again, it's the one that I always go back to because it's so different from anything else in my collection. But the more Pat McGrath I have owned this year, the more I have realized that the more neutral palettes that she has, although this doesn't look like a neutral palette, as you're sure you can agree on the eye, you wouldn't say to me, I, I couldn't wear that to work. But if I just showed you that and said, you need to wear this to work today, you might likely just say no, but this is just, it's wearable. All of the ones that I have of hers now are wearable, but the Utopian Dream is special. But her formulations are second to none. Yes, they're ridiculously expensive, but I've learned now to buy them directly from Pat McGrath on the US side. Buy them in sale times because she gets the most brilliant sales. This I got for 35% off. So this was like 76 pounds. Again, very expensive. But if you are after a special palette, it's worth the money. As I said, the pan is huge. It will take years to even hit pan on one of them. If you have more than one of her palettes, you're just doubling up. So for me, it's worth the money. Hands down, 100% worth the money. This fragrance I picked up in March this year. This is my second bottle. And I'm now also partnered with the brand to sell the products. So this is the FM Pure Royal 910, which is a five out of five match for the Kirk de Jean Baccarat Rouge 540. I'll put the notes somewhere on the screen of this fragrance. My friend Holly was selling these and after some wine one evening, she was talking about how great this was and how she loves it. It's her favourite. It's the biggest seller on FM, blah, 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 blah. And I thought, you know, I'm going to gonna buy one. I've never smelled Baccarat Rouge before, but it was just the fragrance that everybody was banging on about. And I got it in the post from Holly. And it was love immediately. This fragrance, it's so different. Everyone knows exactly what it is. And they always say, are you wearing Baccarat Rouge? Baccarat Rouge is 215 pounds a bottle. This is 31 pounds a bottle. This is 50 ml Eau de Parfum. This smells like 
the most opulent. It's a little bit oody, not too much. It has a molecule in it that you can kind of smell, but not really. And I never know how to describe this, but if you've ever smelled molecule one, it's one of those perfumes that on yourself, you can't smell it, but everybody else says how great you smell. It's like a pheromone, but it has a certain ting to it. And this has the same. This has got like ambery, it's warm, it's sexy, but it's nice and light enough for every day. This is my second bottle. And since I partnered with FM, I people always ask me my recommendations and I always say this and I can send people little samples. I buy little samples and post them out to people when they place an order. Every time I've sent out a 910, one or two out of three people have always bought it. And they always come back to me and say, I don't know where this has been my entire life. People always talk about it. They always say how lovely it smells, how lovely you smell wearing it, blah, 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 blah. It's my favorite. It's been my favorite for the last year. I mean, this is, this is my second bottle and I only opened this about a month or two ago. I love it. And it's one that I reach for when I don't know what to reach for. And in, in winter, it's lovely because it's warm and it's ambery and it's, oh, it's just perfection yes and even in summer because it was warm summer nights i love it absolutely love it and it's been my most worn favorite fragrance of 2022 that's it guys that's the roundup i'm really proud this i managed to condense everything and again you know my ultimate favourites. You know them at the back of your hand now, but I didn't want to bore you with those. But these are the things that I have reached for most in 2022. And I feel like I now have found a real groove with like my makeup and my skincare and everything. I don't want to buy loads of stuff now. I've kind of got everything that I love. Like when one thing runs out, I don't look for an alternative of that. I'm like, I'll get that again. So... This is why this year I haven't bought, I've bought stuff obviously, but nothing really that new, if that makes sense. So all of this, I feel like is gonna be a kind of permanent staple in my makeup and beauty regime. Let's see next year, come back at the end of 2023 and let's see, let's compare. I will link last year's video down below so you can watch that and compare. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Happy New Year. Happy Christmas. Wow. Uh, can't believe we're there, but we are. Let's have a great time. Let's enjoy it. And go back over my old videos. Look at some of the stuff from last year, from this year. And let's see how much we've evolved and how much we've changed. Guys, thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel in 2022. I have lots more to come in 2023. Let's do it together. I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.